I mean, I know I'm in the minority, but I like, I think Spence. I think Spence is, um, he got the work rate, he got the power. He's the naturally bigger man. He's the naturally stronger man. Now, Crawford can box. He can box, beautiful boxer. I'm not, I, I, I hate to go against him, but I just think Spence is the, Spence got this one. Former heavyweight champion Hasim Rockmon states that Errol Spence Jr., he's in the minority, but he believes that he'll beat Terrence Crawford. That's what I want to talk about in this video. You say you feel you're in the minority. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that most people uh, uh, the, lean towards Crawford? Well, I think because Spence has had, the, you know, the detached retina, the accident. Uh, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't look so hot in the last couple fights. You know, he went the distance with Sean Porter. Crawford knocked him out. So people, I think people are reading too much into that, and they feel as if Bud is a bigger puncher than Spence, which I don't think so. But um, you know, so I think I'm in the minority. But I think Spence wins. I think I'm in the minority, but I think Spence wins. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. That was former heavyweight champion of the world, famously knocked out Lennox Lewis, and that was considered an upset at the time to capture titles. Lennox Lewis, of course, avenged that fight. He was giving his thoughts weighing in. Now, interesting thing from Hasim Rahman, definitely his son's box. He's a student of the game. He's a fighter himself. And interesting thing, he said that he's in the minority here. And I honestly agree with him. I agree with him if we're referring to boxing legends. As you guys know, if you follow my channel, if you don't, oh well, that's your fault. But the boxing legends, majority of what I've seen outside of Hasim Rahman and Pauli Malinaji, from Roy Jones Jr. to Antonio Tarver to Timothy Bradley, and many more they've picked terrence crawford to beat errol spence at the end of the day anybody can have a fight prediction i believe robert garcia even picked terrence crawford to beat errol spence jr so at the end of the day anybody can have an uh, opinion and a prediction it is a great fight so no matter who you side with you can make that argument it's not like a blowout fight you know like terrence crawford mean machine where you can't really see Mean Machine pulling off the upset. So at the end of it, at the heart of it, that's what it is. It's a great fight. So I'm not truly mad at anybody for picking either guy. However, I will say from some of the legends that I've heard break it down, I haven't really heard a breakdown that favors Crawford and really intelligently does justice or does what Crawford does well. Like I think I've said this before. I think Terrence Crawford is miscategorized as to who he is as a fighter. No doubt, he's a beast. He's undefeated for a reason. He moved up in weight. First fight was a title fight with Jeff Horn, even though there's some controversy there with Jeff Horn, did he beat Pacquiao? But that's not Crawford's concern. At the end of the day, Crawford, he's a great fighter. But from the breakdowns I've heard that are favoring Crawford, it some of it doesn't seem kind of accurate to how Crawford fights. and that will be interesting to see how it all plays out when and if the fight happens undisputed but to hear Hasim Rahman break down his perspective interesting and he kind of said what Pauli Malignaggi who also favors Errol Spence one of the same talking points was Pauli Malignaggi and Hasim Rahman have this in common is that Crawford is the guy who fought at the lower and lighter weight classes and he is the guy that is moving up and he's fighting a solid formidable puncher and good fighter in Errol Spence Jr. So they think that's going to play a factor. And again, without seeing the fight, I could understand that argument because when it comes to durability, you know, Errol flew through a car, came back and didn't listen to people by taking the tune up. And then he had an eye injury, came back, did what he said he was going to do, fight the winner of Pacquiao Ugas, which was Ugas didn't listen to people so we know Errol Spence is fully durable and to this point Crawford has been durable also but it's a little bit harder to say with Crawford because he came from multiple weight classes and we've seen him I, I would say we've seen him more hurt or injured or wounded in, in battle probably 
more times than Errol Spence Jr. So until they actually fight and match up, we don't know how to play out, you know. But definitely you can make the argument a bigger person that has skill and power may be able to hurt Crawford. You know, that just goes without saying because we've seen if Gamboa at 135 could hurt Crawford, then it's not out of the question. And it seems like some of the legends, the few, like Hasim Rahman said, the minority of people that are picking Arrow, it seems like that is one of the major points that they're thinking. Now, the thing I like about Hasim Rahman's breakdown, the link will be in the description as well, is when people break down, it's only on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and stuff, boxing Twitter, that you really see this nonsense. And I'm not going to even spend too much time on it. But Hasim Rahman, what he's saying is plausible again we won't know until they actually fight but when you come to youtube like when i make videos and i make conversation and ask certain questions people say oh ego you hating but hasim rockman you can listen to his breakdown he's not hating he said man i hate to go against crawford and that's the reality of real boxing fans is if it's a great matchup and it's not that you hate shane mosley like shane mosley versus mayweather you know we live in uh, such a a watered down sensitive time and i think there's a lot of people whose hearts ain't pure i like shane mosley i know shane mosley right and him going against floyd that's a tall order it don't matter how much you like somebody but if you favor floyd you favor floyd and it should be about boxing but when it's certain rivalries like errol spence and terence crawford people get beside themselves and they start thinking that you have a personal axe to grind or a grudge against one of the person. You know what I'm saying? Me, I haven't even given the fight prediction and y'all be saying whatever in the comment section. So there's many different ways to look at it. Some people are picking Crawford. They think he's too agile, swift, cunning, and Errol Spence, you know, he's come from what he's come from, accidents and stuff like that. And I like how Hasim Rahman said a lot of people are overstating those things. And I agree with that statement 1,000%. I think people, like he already went through the car accident and he's already had two fights since. He already came back with the eye injury and all that. Like if you were worried about that, you should have been worried in the immediate following fights. But now he already has two in the can. I don't think, like I would just prepare for the best possible Errol Spence Jr. I wouldn't believe that he's going to show up like this wounded you know, version where he's like a scavenger just picks him off. You know, that's not what I've seen from his performances. Now, the thing I did disagree with from Hasim Rockman in this interview is he said Errol Spence hasn't looked good. He hasn't looked particularly good in his recent performances. And I don't know why that comment was said, because I don't think that's been the case. You know, from Danny Garcia to Uga's fight, Sean Porter fight, and Mikey Garcia, I don't think that that's a right assessment i thought he looked amazing versus ugas and even danny garcia i thought he beat danny garcia more punishing off of injury and then his team said he was like 40 60 70 percent for the danny garcia fight and he was coming off an accident so i thought he looked i thought he looked sharp in those fights so that's where we disagree but another thing that Hasim rockman said that i agree with he said a lot of people think because sean porter got knocked out by crawford that he's the bigger puncher and i don't believe that and I, i'm the same way no doubt Crawford's strong, he's an animal, but I don't think he's stronger than Errol Spence Jr. who's maiming and disfiguring people's faces and they're looking unrecognizable. But you know, you hear Roy Jones and some of the other breakdowns, they say and make it sound like Crawford is stronger. Now Crawford can hurt anybody at welterweight and he's a precise puncher, but again, if we're just going per capita, I don't believe that Crawford is stronger. So I agree with Hasim Rockman. Let me know how I did in this video. Subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Do you agree, disagree with the legend Hasim Rockman? Who are you favoring, Crawford or Errol Spence? Drop all that in the comment section. We working. And I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud 
us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hybrid Nation 5s by Kanichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.